hey what's up guys Naresh here and I'm back again with another video review today we are going to review a Bluetooth FM transmitter by Dextech well this has got a very special features and few extra things and pieces so let's go around the box and straight away show you what features we are talking about as you can see just right in the bottom is mentioned right there in the tech technical specification it's a, it's a Bluetooth FM transmitter for your car and it can take the input from 12 volt to 24 volt which is very good enough so even truckers can use it now then other thing other things it's got also got the two usb output ports which are five volt one is a 2.4 max amp and one is at one amp so you can fast charge your mobile phone while you're playing the music as well these are some extra features on it it's obviously it's got a plug-in synchronization feature built-in microphone and blah blah stuff so let's just do not waste too much of time and unbox it and and pair it with our mobile phone devices and look at the quality of the music let's go The package is only involved one your FM transmitter and one user manual straightforward instruction guys very quick guide is also available which will help you to do how to pair and everything but what I'll do actually I'm going to go through each and individual thing with you straight away you don't need to read any manual whatsoever okay so let's have a open let's look at the product itself. Okay we don't need the packaging throw the packaging away that's how the product looks like as you can see that dex tech is right here right on the top here you do have a volume control where you can control the volume and right up and down here you do have a frequency changer which is for the transmitter so you can broadcast your signal on from 87 megahertz to 107 hertz actually well it can vary a little bit but this is how it is these two buttons are multi-function button which will help you to navigate around your playlist inside you if you are playing through bluetooth right there obviously you're going to have a display what is doing and everything and obviously you do have a multifunction volume button right here when you go clockwise you increase and decrease by going into the anti-clockwise direction as i mentioned it's a multi-function button so if you press it here it's a power button as well so right now this side this side you do have a usb port on it which is an output port with a one amp and right on the bottom here right and right just down there you do have another port which is 2.4 m which is quite kind of a fast charger for your your mobile phones so as you can see there by the movement by by the structure of it it's a movable arm you can move it how you want it and suit your position with it and right on the top here you do have an auxiliary port right there which helps you if you do have a mp3 player would like to play the music straight on your car car radio as you can see this my car is a very dirty so what we can do actually i'm going to plug it up first i'm going to show you is once it's plugged up so let's plug it up it's plugged in and i can swirl it how i want it as you can see that the display seems to be coming opposite way around but if you look at the manual you can you can swing it over and change it how you want it to so you can twist it how you want it's in a bluetooth mode at the moment what you can do you can pair it with your mobile phone and so let's just start the pairing process as you see when it's plugged in it will say when it says flashing bt that means it's ready for the pairing mode so what we're going to, i'm going to use my android phone here so let me show you that one so i'm going to turn the bluetooth on first there we go bluetooth is on let me put in the discovery mode and scan for that i would be able to see the fm25 in there if it's communicating if you're ready for pairing so you can simply connect to it pair with it there you go guys once the bluetooth is paired it's going to display you the frequency right here and the, the bt which will go away and the, you will see the blue light steady blue light right here as well see now what you need to do you need to select the broadcast frequency which is very important guys that you're not match you're not uh, interference into any other station or anything like that so you need to select the right frequency in your your place actually i found i managed to find is 107.9 which works good for me so i'm going to broadcast my signal straight on it so what you can do for that it is basically you play the music straight away from your mobile phone which i have done it now there you go as i can show you let me show you okay i'm broadcasting this music straight away on it now and and now i'm going to power up my car radio there you go what you need to do you need to set on the manual setting i'm straight on it as you can see that there you go you can change your music from here
and sounds really really nice guys for sure you know as you can hear that music you can now the volume control for the bluetooth you cannot do it from here i have noticed this one what you can do you, this volume you can use only for the auxiliary so that is very important you better guys know about it rather than being into the floor or anything like that obviously navigation is right here but you can charge your mobile phone from here as well and from down there too all right so let's change some music and play some music around Look at that. Sound quality is very nice without any noise whatsoever because it is using the Bluetooth. So obviously the noise has been reduced by using that feature and it's a version 4.0 as well. So that will be it from my side guys. It's a very great piece of kit. You can buy it and it's a noise free as well as you hear the music. I'll stop this video right here and I shall see you. You shall see me in next video as well guys. See you then. Bye bye.